G'day folks, welcome to the 2017 NCHA Lucas Oil Super Stakes. Well tonight we had the final of the four-year-old John Deere division I'm, and I'm with the man of the moment, Rowdy Larson, who scored a massive 222 riding Johnny English. Congratulations Rowdy. Thank you. Now Rowdy, not only did he get first, but he also got second on the 217, that, that's a great effort. Rowdy, this is your first title uh, in the big Coliseum, how's it feel? Oh, it's amazing. We've dreamed about this since the day I started and it's amazing now, I just want a bigger one. What, uh, describe what it's like to show in this, in this uh, I guess, unique Coliseum. Oh, this building's awesome. I mean, you cut your cows right and set them up, you can be any score. I mean, it's, it's easy to show in here, I think. I mean, you just gotta be clean on your cuts and get drove up out of the herd and just go show your horse. Now you were first out of a final of 17 horses, uh, describe what sort of cattle you were, you were looking for. You had Dean Dome and, and uh, Bill Riddle in the corners, what was their advice? Uh, we all picked some cows that we liked and then we kind of just talked them over and decided which ones were best and I don't know, I kind of go in with the philosophy of knowing the cows pretty good and, and having some favourites but when you're first in them I don't want to go very deep in them. I want to kind of come cut off the top and, and to where I don't have a lot of traffic when I go to cut because they don't know how to roll back to the herd yet or anything like that. So I just, I didn't necessarily have cows that I had picked. I picked the brindle cow and the, and the orange moth that I cut. Um, we really liked them cows and I was hoping they was going to be in a spot to cut them good. And they were. Um, but I didn't want to have to go dig for a cow that I really liked because I don't cut that good, so I gotta <laughs> keep it simple. <laughs> Are you being hard on yourself there? Well, you, what you, uh, happened right at the end there, Rowdy, on the last on the last cut, you were really cool, calm, and collected, and you really took your time to make that last cut, rather than rush in there and try and slam your hand down. Was that sort of a, a game plan you had just to keep it cool? Well, no, not really. I was frustrated at myself when I got when the buzz, buzzer went off because I felt like I wasted that cut. Um, I wanted to be clean and smooth right there, but I felt like I, if I'd have thrown down with five or six seconds as opposed to two, I'd have had a little better score even yet, and then that would have made them come chase me even harder. But it worked out for the, for the good, so I'm going to live and learn from it, I guess. Now, you had another horse to show, and you got a 217, ended up second on that horse. So, uh, I guess you knew the cattle well, but uh, I guess, is it easy to let go of that 220 score or that you're in the lead? How were you able to sort of refocus for that second horse? Oh, my other little mares are a really good mare, too. Like, I knew I had a shot to win it on either one of them. Um, so, I didn't necessarily come out to try to beat my 22 but I come out to put a good run together uh, and let the judges do their job and mark it if they liked it. And as long as I don't make any penalties and give them any reasons not to mark me, then we're in good shape. Uh, and tell us about your horse, Johnny English. Well, Rick Hayes trained that horse and did a heck of a job with him. I've had him for about a month. Um, I, I showed him a week before the Cattlemen's Derby. Um, had a weekend show and then I went to the Cattlemen's and ended up making the finals there and was fourth on him there. Um, and I pretty much just caught rode him. And then I brought him home and all I've been doing since then is trying not to screw up what Rick did to him. So, I mean, he's done a heck of a job with that horse and I'm just trying to stay out of his way. So he's, he's won uh, over 19,000 now. So what's the game plan for him? Uh, we're going to keep showing him as much as we can, try to win as much on him as we can. And hopefully he'll stay sound and be good for us as long as we can. Well, Rowdy, you've won over a quarter of a million dollars, so uh, hopefully this is the first title of many to come. Uh, I hope so. hope thanks. I get to talk to your wife next time. <laughs> yeah, everyone says that. Hey, uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you.